Now we're going to make a taibi pastry. This is the pilo dough. Take a few strands, roll it around your fingers, or use fork to make nest. Then mold it into your round uh, oven safe container. And if you are worried about your kataifi getting dry, just cover it with a damp cloth. Spread some melted butter on your kataifi. It also uh, helps to make your kataifi crunchier and tastier. I'm putting some pistachios on kataifi and to add some flavor and you can add some honey on around the kataifi as a natural sweetener. Then bake it for 20 minutes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it's cooked. We are going to set it aside and make the filling. So I am using 3 ounces of mascarpone cheese or mascarpone cheese with 2 tablespoons of vanilla yogurt and 1 tablespoon of honey. Just mix them together in a bowl. And for the toppings, I used ripe mango. But of course, you can create or use toppings you want. It can be cookies, fruits, or your favorite nuts. Now fill the kataifi nest with your mascarpone cheese and your toppings. And just so you know, you can be as playful and creative as you want. On this recipe, I use crushed pistachios and ripe mango to top it with.